I'm pretty positive that I can't show this whole gameplay. When you play Battlefield games, matches last a very long time, and I've been trying to redo my channel, I guess I should say, when it comes to gameplay. Instead of using my clips or best moments or my streaks, I just try to get one good solid game and show you guys the full clip because one, I think it helps to see all my deaths, what I did wrong, where I failed in certain spots because it helps other people learn how to play the game like that. But also just being able to see the full experience, I think it's just more enjoyable. But like I said in other videos, let me know down in the comment section what you personally prefer. Do you like cut up clips? Do you like the full clips? But I've been trying to give you guys the full vibe. Battlefield games, they go on for like 20-30 minutes, so I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this whole gameplay. But this gameplay is going to provide you guys with the Battlefield vibes. How they just always have a masterpiece in mind and how every map plays unique. And I love the beach landings where you have to push up to the beach. And in this map specifically, brand new map that we just got in Battlefield 5, you have to push up to the beach, push through their defenses, push into the jungle part of the map, and get to their final base. It is so awesome and so enjoyable to see a development studio be this creative with a jungle environment. I know jungle environments are not really that enjoyable with the community. I know a lot of people hate them. Hard visibility, hard to navigate, very obnoxious, very little cover. It's a lot of issues to why people don't like jungle styled maps. But me personally, I always love the vibes of these styled maps. I love being able to use the environment to your advantage, hide and creep around the certain areas. If it's a lot of bushes, trees, or just anything to cover you. I like using the environment to my advantage and also in battlefield they do have little areas where it's huts put up in defensive situation that you could be in but you have choices you can either go and be where those huts are and have a good battle there or you can go over to the jungle area and actually fight it out with the environment i always wished call of duty would do a jungle styled map like that now you might say well jb they do have a jungle map it's literally called jungle but it's not like this no, I want to see Call of Duty do something where the environment completely takes bugged. over. You don't have open lanes where you can see everything. I want the jungle to actually be alive in a Call of Duty game. And it's just not that alive in the actual map jungle which came out in Black Ops 1. It's still cool though. I do enjoy the environment. But I want to see them one day just go completely all out and just slap you in the center of a jungle no designated paths to take you anywhere just you're literally in the jungle they also said along with this update came a few new weapons as well now they aren't released yet they're going to be coming with the tides of war that comes out on february 6 which should be pretty interesting to see what they have in store but overall I'm very happy with DICE. They have really pleased me. They're making me happy. They changed the time to kill. They gave us a brand new map, which personally might be one of my favorite maps because, like I said, I love jungle vibes. And they're also adding in brand new weapons. This game overall is an absolute blast, and I'm very happy with the changes that they're actually making to it. It has content, finally, and it feels good. And also, I have to mention as well, the main menu of this game is absolutely perfect now. I actually did not check out my companies to see how that's set up and everything like that. They literally changed the whole menu layouts of this game. And they look absolutely amazing. Everything is easy to navigate. And also, let me tell you about the weapons as well, which a lot of Call of Duty players probably don't know. I've known about this for a while. I mentioned it in past videos too. But just in case you're new to this channel and you're a Call of Duty player, Battlefield 5 has done weapons the absolute best. Whenever a weapon leaves a tide of war, and a tides of war for anybody who's new here, who doesn't play that much Battlefield, it's basically their weekly challenges that they put out where you have to complete a certain amount of challenges to unlock something, whether it's a new weapon, whether it's a new skin. I've been talking about this as well, comparing it to the Call of Duty season passes that they have. It's a, it's a lot of stuff that I've been talking about comparing between Call of Duty and Battlefield. But Tides of War allows you to unlock new weapons, new skins, and stuff like that. And if you don't go ahead and complete the Tides of War, once that specific mission ends and the weapon leaves, you can actually just go ahead and purchase it with the in-game currency called Company Coin. Which is something that you unlock just by simply playing the game. So by just simply playing matches you can go ahead and unlock specific weapons that you want. You don't even have to grind for them through the challenges. That honestly, 
Battlefield 5 right now is in a very solid position. And honestly, they have so much potential to make a massive comeback. Now, what I would like to see is for them to branch off a little bit more. Maybe add the Russians in or something like that. I want to see some more good maps. I want some more World War II vibes. The reason that I didn't really care for the first, uh, I guess you should, I don't know what to call it, honestly. Not first season or whatever, but the first section when the game first released. I didn't really care for it because it didn't feel like World War II. It kind of just felt like Battlefield 1 version 2. I didn't really get any World War II vibes, and since they're censoring all the, you know, swastikas and stuff like that, and German situations that went on, Nazis, I guess you should say, it just doesn't feel like World War II. And it's funny because in Call of Duty World at War, it's actually pretty funny because they have the swastikas, they, you know, acknowledge that the Germans were Nazis at the time, and they also had Adolf Hitler say a victory speech if you won a match of any game playing as the Germans in Call of Duty World at War. It's crazy to see how times have changed from back then to how we, you know, accept these things, because it's history, you know? It's not like we're making fun of it, this is real stuff, this actually happened. And now we're here in 2020 where people are so sensitive that you say Nazi or if you show a swastika in a video game, they get all butthurt and offended. Let me just say this, if you don't bother to remember history and you try to ignore it and pretend that it never happened, it's going to happen in the future. So stop being all butthurt, stop being a bunch of wimps, and let these game developers actually make a game that is real, historically correct. Now, like I said, I don't know if it's actually the fans that caused that. I know the majority of Battlefield fans wanted the legit stuff in this game. You know, Battlefield fans are very hardcore. They like realistic things in their Battlefield titles. So they didn't really take this too fondly when uh, EA DICE decided not to put the swastika and stuff like that into the game. But I think it is just EA DICE's fault. I think they're just being wimps right now. They don't want to man up and make a real hardcore shooter. But regardless, when the game first dropped, it didn't feel like World War II. Now, current day, it kind of feels like World War II, only with the Pacific for me, really. The other maps, they're alright, they don't give me the World War II vibe, but it still makes the game fun. There are still some good maps in the rotation that give me a good gameplay aspect. I just wish it felt like World War II more. I'm, I'm really not gonna lie, Battlefield 1 felt way more like World War 1 than Battlefield 5 feels like World War 2. Like I said, Battlefield 5 just feels like Battlefield 1 version 2 kind of disappointed with that because you know with Battlefield 1 they showed the true potential like I never thought I'd see a development studio design a World War 1 shooter and actually make it fun and playable but somehow out of the random EA DICE managed to do it and they really made it feel like World War 1 that felt legit and they, sh they show potential they show that they can make games like that but then Battlefield 5 comes out, and it feels like it's just all over the place, and they don't really have a specific path with how they want this game to feel, when it should just be feeling like a World War II shooter. But this recent update has left me very happy, and I've been waiting to be this happy for a video game for a very long time, because now Battlefield 5, even though the time to kill isn't there for me just yet, I still think it's a little too long. They should lower it. But it's playable, you know, I, I can't complain completely about it, it's not like it's unplayable like it was before, when I just wanted to plain out quit Battlefield 5 with how slow the time to kill felt. It was absolutely awful, I wanted to quit. Now it's actually tolerable, I can go ahead and play it, and I can go ahead and enjoy the game. And being able to enjoy a video game is something that I forgot, something that I haven't felt in a minute. Honestly, the last time I really enjoyed a video game was when Apex Legends first dropped. And now it doesn't really feel the same, but when all my friends used to play Apex Legends and it was in its prime, honestly, I was having a blast with that. Probably the last time I actually had a good time with video games. And before Apex Legends, God only knows the last time I actually had a really good time playing a video game. Video games nowadays just aren't really standing up to standards. And I'm not talking about all video games. I'm just specifically talking about FPS titles, games like Call of Duty, Battlefield, uh, the Rainbow Six Siege, games like that, I just haven't really been feeling them lately. And it feels great to finally have a FPS game, you know, something that I personally love, you guys know how I feel about FPS games, actually succeed and be fun. Like, I love this new jungle map. It's colorful, it's unique, it's, it's actually feels 
fun. It feels good. And playing on breakthrough, like I said, it just feels so smooth. Starting off in the water, proceeding yourself to the beach, breaking through that objective, moving on into the jungle, fighting into the jungle, and all that stuff with all the tanks pushing through. It looks absolutely epic. And finally getting to their final defensive area. It's a very epic push. I gotta say, it feels good. It feels rewarding when you're grinding through the jungle like that. But good job, DICE. Another good update. And the best part about it is that it didn't brick anybody's consoles like Modern Warfare did. So all together, good stuff. Now for the next video, I'm going to be trying to test out some Apex Legends. I saw that the most recent season has released, so I'm going to give it a little bit of a try. I hope Solos is back in it. I don't know yet. I haven't tried it out. If it isn't, it's going to be a little bit rough playing with randoms, but eh, I'll still give it a go. I want, I want to know what's going on in Apex, because like I said, it still holds a very special part of my heart. I really enjoyed it back in its prime, and I still do enjoy it. I just don't really have that many people to play it with, so I kind of avoid the game, but I want to see what this new season is all about. But thank you guys for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. If you hate it, go always dislike it. If you're brand new and you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification button. Also, if you just want to chat with me or see me rant about video games, you can follow me over on Twitter, at Man. And also, if you just want to catch me live streaming, I do that over on Twitch, at Man as well. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.